Okay. Now, um, many of you would be familiar uh, with the water side, of course, and the St. John's River. And a new bridge is being constructed, but some people are very, very unhappy with it. One of them is sitting across from me. He's Mick Daniels of the Friends of St. John's River Group. Mick, good morning, Chef. Thanks very much for having me, Ian. Mick, do you mind me asking um, your interest in water and in the safety of going under bridges and, and the potential dangers, as you would see it around this bridge, can I bring you back to South Africa a couple of years ago? Can you tell me what happened to you? Well, what happened to me was we were on holiday in South Africa and we were visiting a lovely spot called Plettenberg Bay. Mm -hmm. And I went swimming and I was dumped by a wave head first onto the bottom with such force that my neck was shattered. It's called a Jefferson fracture. So I was, I was paralyzed from the neck down, drowning under the water. You, and couldn't, I you couldn't move you're under the water? I couldn't move, no. I couldn't move anything from the neck down. You'd be terrified. Oh, pretty awful, yeah. But uh, fortunately, a couple of young boys spotted me, raised the alarm, and... Uh, I was saved. You were lucky. I was very lucky, I'll tell you. I was yeah, very yeah. lucky. Now, it might be a long way from South Africa to Waterford, but to me, I get the sense it heightened your awareness of safety and water. Tell me about, just for listeners who weren't familiar with it, where exactly is this bridge in Waterford? The bridge is near the courthouse. It's um, <clears throat> between the St. John's Bridge, I think, and the Lombard Street Bridge. So it's pretty near the courthouse. Right. And... Why is it being built in the first place? What's the purpose? It's being built to facilitate a, an entrance into the old gasworks site, which is going to be, uh, a, by all accounts, a temporary car park, which is going to last for six years. Um, and can I just mention, somebody emailed yeah. me this board planola report this morning because there was some speculation on social media that this bridge may be temporary. But reading from the, the, uh, the board planola report, it says access bridge works permanent. This this bridge is permanent. Okay, right. It sounds to me it would be a good idea to have a bridge to provide access to a car park. What's wrong with that? Well, look, the problem is that it's a flat bridge. You know, anybody who sees the Monster Express article or will have seen my video called called uh, I think it's called Saint John's River Cock Up actually, but that's a subtle title. <laughs> yeah. Um, Look, the bridge has been built too close to the water. It's as simple as that. There, there is no arch on the bridge. Um, all of the bridges, with the exception of Wise Bridge that was constructed in 1970, all of the bridges are arched. And obviously the arch is to facilitate the free movement of boat traffic and floating debris or whatever. It's a very practical... Yeah. I won't hit my head off when I go under the bridge. I won't have to be ducking down. I, I'll, I'll be even be able to get in through the bridge, yeah. Precisely, okay. yeah. And right. like the, the, the problem here is that the bridge has been built too close to the water. Now, I note from the uh, Monster Express article there yesterday that... Uh, so you, you say it's built too close to the water. Can you tell me, can you describe for us, who might be familiar with boats, when you're going along in your kayak or your canoe or your boat, um, what you have to do? You've actually gone onto this bridge, have you? I have, yeah. So tell me about that experience. Well, the experience I had on Saturday was it was about two hours before the full tide and a group of us had left the Scotch Key and sort of headed towards the country. When we Now, incidentally, we passed under the various arch bridges. No problem. No problem. Loads okay. of yeah. head height. But when we got to this bridge, um, I had to crouch down to get under the bridge. Uh, and unfortunately, my, my GoPro camera, which was, which was on my helmet, yeah. got bent back. So I got an hour and a half of film of the sky. For the rest of the afternoon, I didn't spot it. Sky TV, come on. Yeah, but, the, but here's the thing. I went under the arch bridge, is no problem, but as soon as I got to this one, I had to crouch down to get under it. Now, look, the danger here is that if, if I wasn't familiar with that area, okay. I would have carried on up the river, and I would have had my lovely day, and then I would have came back down, the tide would have risen, and I will not be able to get under the bridge. Okay. Now, what if I decided, actually, I'll try and squeeze under it? Now, if you get caught under a bridge with a rising tide, you are in serious trouble. Why? Because the rising tide is going to lift you and is going to compress you under the bridge. Um, you know, I've been kayaking all my life. Yes. I've been boating all my life. And, and believe me, I'm well aware of the dangers of rising tide and bridges. A lot of people have had their boats destroyed. You try and pass under a tide bridge and the tide is coming. Yeah. You get stuck there. The tide will lift your boat and you... You okay. and your boat will be crushed. All right, let, let me put what might be, I, I'm guessing, the uh, those who construct the response. Look, anybody on the waters knows that tides will rise under a bridge, so just pick your time when you use the bridge. 
Absolutely, yes, that is the case. But you see, something was said in response to a question uh, at, at the Waterford City Council meeting. Yes. Uh, Councillor Rita Brennan and Councillor Joe Kelly raised the issue. And right. apparently it was stated that a boat would not get under the bridge at very high tide, but that a boat would also not get under the nearest arch bridge at a very high tide. Okay. Now, this is incorrect. Why? You don't need a high tide to not be able to get under this bridge. If it's within two hours of the tide, you will not be able to get under this bridge. You will be able to get under the arch bridges two hours on okay. either side yeah. of the tide, yeah. but you will not get under this bridge. Right. Okay. Now, I'm looking here, right, again, at the Monster Express report, and it quotes, uh, for instance... Um, the Director of Economic Development and Planning, Lark Power. He confirmed that the design of the bridge will not be changed. He said it's been approved by the Office of Public Works. And he said while he appreciated that a boat would not undergo the bridge at high tide, that's your point, he says it wouldn't get under the other ones either. But here's the key thing. The bridge is as constructed. It won't be changed. It won't be arched, he said. Well, look, from our point of view, when I say our, I mean the St. John's River Group. Um, who've worked very hard over the last number of years to open up the river and and to you know encourage people to use the river as an amenity. And there are more and more small boats and kayakers on the river okay, now. Yeah. Now look, and it's going to be linked with the Greenway too. Am I right? From yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Brian Simpson actually of the the Manor River Group made the point yeah. that the 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 new Manor River walkway, which is fabulous, I have yeah. to say. I don't want anybody to think I'm one of these serial objectors to every development that happens in the place. I love the new Manor River walkway, and I think great credit is due to everybody. Well done, good job, and the Greenway is fantastic. But that does not take away from the fact that there is a serious health and safety hazard posed by this new bridge. As you see it, okay? As I see it, yes. see it differently. Okay. What are you going to do, finally, Nick? I don't know. I guess all we can do is highlight it. My hope is yeah. that somebody is going to stand up and say, I made a mistake. Anybody can make a mistake. Yeah. But but this is a big mistake because this, this poses a serious health and safety hazard. What I would love to see is somebody saying, whoops, we made a mistake there. We'll just have to get rid of that and replace it with something more suitable like an arched bridge. All right. Okay, listen. Mick, thanks a million for joining us. That's Mick Dine and Friends of St. John's River Group. Mick, if people want to see your video, where can they check it out? Go to my YouTube channel, which is Mick Daniels. Okay. Mick Daniels on YouTube. Mick, do you ever think to be Dave when you become on saying, go to my YouTube channel? No, I didn't. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> you can hear all my popular hits there. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen, thanks for joining us, Mick. There's Texas says, there's no arch in the bridge by uh, Bat Street uh, uh, or Tremor Road either as well. Another text that says, why not replicate the regional bridge that scanned the St. John's River? Uh, also, I hope that the gas work site will be utilised for other developments rather than a car park. Uh, that comes from Mel. 